A warm welcome to this 30 minute restorative yoga class. Today's practice has been designed to help you hit the pause button on life and immerse yourself in some really deep physical and mental relaxation. I'm Lorna of Lorna Green Yoga and I'm so glad that you're here today. You're going to need some props for this class. A bolster, a couple of blocks or two block shaped items and two blankets. Now, if you're new here, please remember to hit the bell so that you can get notified any time a new class is posted and subscribe to the channel so that I can keep supporting you in your home practice with more free yoga. So if you're ready, go slip into something super comfortable and meet me back here on the mat. To set up your blocks and bolsters, use one block in the tallest position, then another on the middle setting. Lay your bolster on top of your blocks, making yourself a reclining backrest. Now bring your hips to the bottom edge of the bolster. Push through your fingertips to extend your spine long and slowly lower yourself down, so you're laying along the bolster. Relax your hands by your sides, turning the palms upwards, opening the chest. Bend your right knee, drawing your foot to rest at your left knee, then let the right knee fall to the floor in a sort of reclining tree pose. If you're struggling to open your hip, either slide the right foot lower down or use your blanket to support under your knee or your thigh. Find a position that feels comfortable, restful. There shouldn't be any pain or struggle. Now that you're comfortable, you can begin to evolve your intention of pausing. Close your eyes and allow your body to become heavy, feeling your body support you, feeling the props support you. Surrender to the idea that there's nothing for you to do but simply let go. You'll rest here now for three minutes. Begin with your attention on your breath. Aware of the movement of air through your body, as time passes, let your mind drift, perhaps noticing that your breath continues all by itself. Sink into the heaviness, the stillness of your body and mind.
Bring awareness back to your breath, consciously deepening your breathing as you prepare to move. Exhale with an audible sigh as you extend the right leg. Slide your foot moving slowly until your right leg is straight. Now bend the left knee and draw your left foot to meet your right knee. Allow the left knee to fall towards the floor. Make any small adjustments you need to in order to be comfortable, but remember to move slowly and with care. Remember your muscles will tense somewhat when you move, so give yourself time to relax once again. Choose to receive this gift of slowing down and continue to reinforce this intention in your mind. Each breath is an invitation to delve deeper, deeper into the sensation of comfortable heaviness. Let your breaths flow softly and easily. Give way to the heaviness throughout your body. Give yourself permission to enjoy this gift of slowing down. Take pleasure in giving yourself a pause in your day. As you take your final breaths on this side, ask yourself if you can relax a little more. Let your breath fall to the floor with each exhale. Preparing for movement, extend the left leg, slowly sliding your foot along the floor until the left leg is completely straight. Rock your hips from side to side then, shake the legs with soft ankles and relaxed toes. Bending both knees, planting your feet on the floor. Let your knees drop to the right side and then to the left side. Slow, gentle movement, bringing blood and energy back to the limbs after stillness. Now draw the soles of your feet together and continue to turn your awareness inwards. Your attention deep into the lower abdomen and the pelvis. Let your knees melt outwards towards the floor. And if you need to use a blanket or even a cushion to support under the thighs or the knees, then make that adjustment now. Repeat silently in your mind. I deserve to pause. I deserve to be present. I deserve to simply be. And you can relax here now for three minutes. Let your awareness land at your breath, feeling the rise and fall of your belly. Your body sinking down, supported by the floor, supported by the props. So comfortable and effortless to be here.
Bring your awareness back to your breathing, focusing on the rhythmic rise and fall of your belly as you consciously take deeper breaths. Preparing to move, use your fingertips to guide your knees together. Rise up slowly, curling as you move, keeping your chin close to your chest. Hug your knees and let your forehead rest on them. Release any tension from the static posture by turning your head slowly from side to side and then tucking the chin towards the chest and then raising it up several times. Turn to face your bolster, still raised up on the blocks. Keeping your toes together, spread the knees wide. Wrap your hands around the tallest block or let them rest on the ground. Keeping your hips heavy at your heels, lean forward Resting your upper body on the bolster, turn your head to one side. Feel your upper body completely supported, a pleasant sensation of weight from your chest to your belly, allowing that sensation of comfortable stillness to wash over you. Halfway through, now is a good time to reset the position of your neck, gently turning to the other side. Settle back into the posture, coaxing yourself back to stillness, turning your attention inwards. Sink and soften with each breath, enveloping you in the stillness. I deserve to pause. I deserve to be present. I deserve to simply be.
Press your palms to the floor and draw your body to an upright position. Come to all fours and take a few rounds of cat-cow, shifting any stagnation that builds in the body when you hold these static poses. Align the wrists and the shoulders, the hips and the knees, spreading your fingers wide on the mat. Inhale, dipping your belly to the floor, squeeze the shoulder blades together and tilt the chin upwards. Exhale, tucking the tailbone, press through the palms to make space between the shoulder blades and drop the head to look between your legs. Repeat this several times, flowing like water, moving in complete synchronization with your breath. Now sit facing the bolster, taking your legs wide. Draw your groin right up next to the base of the bolster. Hinge at the hips and with a long spine, drape yourself along the length of the bolster. Find a position that feels good in your body. Adjust to find the shape that's right for you. Create a space that feels nourishing and allows you to sink and relax into the posture. Make two fists and rest your forehead on your fists, or just let your forehead rest on the bolster itself. There's no strain or stress. Adjust the angle of the bolster if you need to, and perhaps use a rolled blanket under each knee. Repeat in your mind once more, I deserve to pause. I deserve to be present. I deserve to simply be. Using your palms to guide your body back to an upright position, bend one knee, 
then the other using your hands to assist you. With your hands on the floor behind you and the fingertips pointing away, shift the legs from side to side. And now you can make some final adjustments to your props coming to Shavasana. Take the bolster under your knees. And then place one block lengthways at your upper back. The bottom edge of the block should be in line with the base of the shoulder blades. Push your palms and forearms into the floor and begin to curl downwards. Keep your chin tucked into your chest as you roll to the floor. Use the other block under your head. Make any final adjustments for this posture, asking yourself, how can I be the most comfortable, the most present, the most open to receiving? Keep your awareness on your breath and give yourself full permission to relax. Place your hands to your lower abdomen and take several deep breaths. Silently repeat the mantra, I deserve to pause. I deserve to be present. I deserve to simply be.
Bring your awareness back to your breath. Consciously taking control of your breath once more. Aware of the sensation of the floor beneath you, the touch of air on your skin and the sounds around you. Preparing yourself for movement, take a deep inhale and as you exhale, step your feet onto the bolster and push your hips up. Slide the blocks from under your back and your head. Pull your knees to your chest and take several conscious deep breaths. Then roll to one side and stay curled for a few moments. Flutter your eyelids open and become aware of your surroundings, aware of how you feel in your body and your mind. Using your hands, push yourself back to sitting, breathing more strongly with each inhale. Sitting up tall with space between the pelvis and the ribs. Rub your palms together and place them over your eyes. Slide the palms across your forehead, hold at the back of the neck, and then slide the opposite palm down the opposite arm, bringing the palms together at heart centre. Whatever you've got planned on your agenda next, do it with a renewed sense of peace and clarity. Thank you for sharing this beautiful practice. Use it whenever you need to push the pause button and reset your body and your mind from my living room to yours, with gratitude.